Hello. In this episode, I will be taking a small one foot long extension cable and cutting off an end in order to install a UK plug adapter on the end of it. You can see here what the final product will look like. And in this first picture, you'll see the plug end that we're going to use. In this next picture, you see the screws that I would remove in order. Those two screws, as you'll see in the next picture, hold the cord in place. So I'd remove those first and then remove the third screw at the top. If you look on the arrow, you'll see the orientation the cord holder or cord clamp has to be in when everything is screwed back together. This is just an inside look of what the plug looks like. You see you get the fuse and then the two other brass terminals. Now we're going to set the plug aside and grab the extension cord that you want to murder. In this case it's a one foot extension cord. Off with its head. Make sure you cut that end clean, cleanly off. If you notice any jagged edges that looks like it's at an angle, go ahead and recut it again because you don't want your cord to be at an angle when you when we do the next step which you'll see in a video where we strip the end of it okay now you'll see I'm taking the head of it that I just sliced off and I'm just gonna put my thumb on one side and the blade on the other and I'm just gonna twist it around once all the way around you're not cutting all the way through the outer jacket. You're just piercing it just a little bit. Okay. Now the next step is is to cut a long thin slice from where that uh, slit is you just created all the way to the end. Again, you just want to put a little bit of pressure on it just to slice through it a little bit. And then when you get to the very tip, you're going to push down to cut all the way through the jacket. The goal is not to cut all the way through it because you don't want to pierce the inner wires. If you pierce the inner wires, you got to cut the cord and you got to do it again because you cannot have any exposed cables. And here you'll see I'm just gently taking my time. And another method is I'll take one of the wires, in this case the white one, I'll grab a hold of it and I'll just give it a gentle tug all the way to the end and then it'll just work itself right off and then you'll just separate the jacket and throw away the trash it's that easy make sure you use a really sharp knife the sharper the knife the easier it is to cut if you use a dull knife It'll slip and cut your fingers because you're pressing way too hard with a dull knife. Okay, the final step is, is to put it all together. Here I got a screwdriver. You'll need a, a flathead and a Phillips. This is a screwdriver that has both. And here I'm using the smaller, it's probably a number one flathead. And I'm just trying to adjust the camera angle here. Okay, here we go. I'm just going to loosen up the screws. Simple procedure. I'll show you in a minute uh, how far I loosened up the screws. Because you really don't want to loosen them up too much to get this, to pull the screw all the way out. It'll just make your life more difficult when you reassemble it.
There you go. See how there's a little bit of a gap? Now you want to measure it because the first wire we're going to cut, actually the only wire we're going to cut is the black wire. So you see I'm just putting it in there just past the cable clamp or the cord clamp and then I'm going to measure it. Just give me a second, I'll bring it into camera view. And I'm going to measure it to that particular terminal because that is the positive terminal. That's where the black wire will terminate to. And then once I do that measurement, I'll go ahead and cut that off. Now once I cut that off, I'll just simply strip the end. It's a 16 gauge wire, so I'll be using the 16 gauge wire cutters. or wire strippers I mean. There we go. That end stripped and then I'll just twist the copper wire around Okay, and then I'm just uh, stripping the other two ends. Nothing Nothing fancy here, same thing, 16 gauge wire, so I'm just going to use 16 gauge wire stripper. There we go. Again, I'll, I'll just twist the ends real quick. And I'll just move them to the side. I will work it so I get the black one in first, it'll be much easier. See how I got all the wires inside that that um, that brass screw terminal? If you have any wires that start to go astray, pull it out, twist it some more, and push it back in. If you have to back the screw out some more to give yourself a bigger hole, go ahead and do that. And that's what your end result will look like. Okay, and then just work the ground one in. The ground one goes up top. Whichever method works for you, I find that sometimes pulling out the, the brass uh, terminal stud here works good. And sometimes it doesn't. It just, just depends on how long I cut the wires. And there we go. It's, cleanly inside the hole. Then I'll just use the screwdriver and just give it a little snug. You don't want to over tighten and you don't want to under tighten. You just kind of want to get a little tension on it, screw it just a little bit more and stop. And then just rinse and repeat for the neutral. This is the white wire. And you can't mix these ones up. If you mix them up, you could fry your whatever you plug into it. You see there, I didn't quite get it uh, twisted all the way, and then I had some wires go astray. And I'll just loosen up that screw a little bit more to make the hole bigger. Okay, almost done. Hopefully I get it. There we go. It's in there nice and clean. And, and I'll just screw that screw down. And I'll push all the terminals right back into place. And then I want to make sure the wires are routed correctly. So you see how the green wire is? That's why I want the white wire also. I don't want to block that screw hole because that's what holds this whole apparatus together. And if you'll notice, when I put the cable clamp on, it'll be perfect. And I'm just showing you here, 
which orientation the cable clock has to be in. And then I'll put the screws in. I won't tighten them down all the way. I'll just tighten it a little bit just to grab the clamp because I want to tighten the clamp down evenly. So I'll go back and forth between the screws. There it goes. It just grabs it. And that's the screws that you're going to use for the cable clamp ones. Now as you tighten it back and forth, you don't want to over tighten it. You just want to cinch the outer jacket a little bit and I will do a close-up on this so you can see what it looks like when it's cinched down. If you over tighten it, you'll crush the wires and that could be a fire hazard. But you see how it's just cinched down just a little bit? Now you can't move the cable and that's all you need. You don't need to over tighten it or anything. Just uh, put the cover on Put that last screw in place and you are done. It is that easy. And that's the type of screw you put in there. Now you can find these little one inch extension cords on Amazon or one inch, one foot extension cords on Amazon. You can get usually between I would say 12 and 20 dollars you can get a pack of 10 depending on what brand you buy I would look at reviews and see what some people say about the quality of them but this concludes the end of the video thank you for watching and have a good day